Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Python and Machine Learning Tutorials. In this tutorial we explained how to resolve one very annoying error that might occur if you are trying to install PyTorch locally in the newest version of Python. Over here you can see the pip install command that should normally install PyTorch. This command is generated by going to this official PyTorch web page and then using this selection table to generate the command. And normally this command should be able to install PyTorch locally. However, over here you can see these two errors. The first error is saying could not find a version that satisfies the requirement torch, which is really unusual, and the second one is no matching distribution found for torch. Now, over here, you can see that I'm running this installation command inside of a virtual environment that I created. However, the same error will occur if you're trying to execute this command outside of the virtual environment. That is, this error does not depend on virtual environment. In order to resolve this error, let us first identify the source of the problem. Now, what people usually don't do is to read the manuals and installation instructions. Namely, if you go to the official PyTorch web page and if you scroll all the way down, you will see several prerequisite sections. And if you focus on Python section, it's written, currently PyTorch on Windows only supports Python 3.9 until Python 3.12. And this is the source of the error. Namely, my current Python version, as you can see over here, is the newest Python version in 2025. And it is Python 3.13.1. However, PyTorch is still not supported for this version. That is, I need to downgrade my Python version. And then once I downgrade my Python version, I will be able to install PyTorch. So let's learn how to do that and let's run a simple code that will test the installation. First of all, I will go in the command prompt and I will deactivate my Python virtual environment. Okay, now I'm good to go. I will close the command prompt, then I will click over here, and I will search for add or remove programs. And here I am. Then over here, I will search for Python. And as you can see over here, my Python version is 3.13.1. So let's uninstall this Python version by clicking here and uninstall, and click uninstall. So over here, be patient. It's going to take a while to uninstall Python. Besides uninstalling Python, we also need to install an additional app called Python Launcher. Okay, so let's close this. Then let's uninstall Python Launcher. Preparing to remove. Okay, now, you might be you might experience the same errors if, for example, a year from now, PyTorch becomes available in Python 3.13, however, it is not available in Python 3.14. And then you need to repeat the same procedure. That is, you will need to go to this website to see what are the versions that are supported, and then you need to install the precise Python version, and then you need to install PyTorch. Okay. The next step is to install the proper version of Python. For that purpose, you need to go to this official Python website and then don't click on download Python 3.13.1, go down and find the correct Python version. In my case, I'm going to select Python 3.12.8 and then over here you need to scroll down and to find the proper file. Since I'm running a computer which runs Windows Installer or Windows 11, I'm going to select Windows Installer. So click over here and download the file and click on Save. Okay, then I'm going to simply go to the Downloads folder, 
I'm going to run this file. Here I'm going to select use admin privileges when installing py.executable and add python.executable to path such that I can create virtual environments and click on install now then click on yes and python will be installed literally in maybe 10 to 15 seconds once python is installed you will see this window and click on close next let's verify the installation and let's create python virtual environment and let's finally install pytorch so click on start and search for a command prompt then over here type python with double dash version and over here you can see that the python version is 3.12.8 the next step is to create a python virtual environment to do that i'm going to go to my c drive then i'm going to create a folder called test python torch then i'm going to navigate to test python torch and inside of this folder i'm going to create and activate a python virtual environment here's how i do that i'm going to first copy and paste this command this command is going to create a python virtual environment called environment one And then if you type this command, you will see this folder over here. Inside of this folder, there is another folder called scripts. And inside of scripts, there is a file called activate.bat. I'm going to run this activate.bat. And as the result, the Python virtual environment is activated. And now I can try to install PyTorch. So let's learn how to do that. To install PyTorch, go to the official web page this one over here, then fill in this selection table, stable version, Windows, pip, Python, and I'm going to select this CUDA version and simply copy and paste this command. Then go to the command prompt, paste the command, and voila! Now PyTorch is being installed. It's going to take a while to install PyTorch. Usually it takes up to two to three minutes, However, in my case, you can see that the installer is actually used the cached version. That is somewhere, maybe somewhere on my C drive, I have already downloaded the PyTorch and it's being actually installed from my local disk. And over here, you can see that the errors are resolved. However, let's perform one final check. In the sequel, I will teach you how to write a simple code that will test the installation. For that purpose, type notepad and type test1.py. This command is going to create an empty Python file called the test1. And over here, I'm going to simply paste the code I wrote. This code imports PyTorch. Then, it uses this code line to detect if the GPU or CPU versions are installed of PyTorch, then it's going to print using device, device, this command is going to print what is the number of device, the number of device starts from zero, and that's usually GPU, then over here I'm going to print the device number, device name, and GPU name, and that's it. If this code executes without any error, PyTorch is properly installed. The most important command is this one over here. So let's save this file. Let's close Notepad. And over here, if I type this command, I should see my file. To execute, execute this file, simply type python test1.py and press enter. And let's see the output. You can see using device CUDA, good, so GPU version of PyTorch is installed current device number is zero that is i'm using a single gpu that i have on my system and the gpu name is nvidia geforce rtx 3090 this means that we have properly installed pytorch and resolved the error okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.